Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to smudge yourself. <laughs> oh, there's a beautiful little butterfly. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Thanks for gracing us with your presence, butterfly. I've had a lot of people asking me um, how do they smudge the aura, how do they cleanse themselves, how do they use smudge stick, what is it even for, how do you use it. So I thought let me do a little video and um, show you guys. So, here it is. Hope you enjoy. You will need a smudge stick. Feather's very helpful for wafting the smoke away. Um, some matches or a lighter. A light source. And a vessel to put your smudge stick in. Okay, it can be anything. I'm just using this cup pot. So, I'm going to light my... One of my candles here, oh, I like both of them actually, for some ambiance. You know what's ambiance? Oh, that went out. How rude. Okay. Fish eagle. Guys, the fish eagles have joined us for our sacred smudging ritual. Can you hear them? Are they going on? Smudging is a very sacred um, ritual that is performed by many communities, especially um, American Indian communities. And it needs to be done with respect and with gratitude and intention. It's, it's not something just to do for fun. This is a, it's a serious thing. Um, and it needs to be done with intention and love and for your highest good. So just remember that when you're doing this. Why do we smudge? Smudging um, is healing. It promotes healing. It's also cleansing okay so you're clearing away all the negativity all the negative vibes negative energy that you may have been carrying you know for the last week or last two weeks last month last year whenever you last smudged if you haven't smudged then for your whole life so get that monkey off your back guys do some smudging um smudging also has very powerful antimicrobial is that right i think it's right antimicrobial and antibacterial properties so there's a quite a few reports um, and studies that have been done about, you know, with smudging where scientists have actually concluded, uh, we've got to find, if there's evidence, please feel free to post it, um, that the smoke actually kills 90 something percent of bacteria in the air. So besides promoting health and well-being and clearing out your energetic space, it also clears out your physical space. So that's like a real bonus, guys, for the little scientists and the skeptics. You can do it for that purpose. Okay. Okay, so a lot of people want to know how often you should smudge, and there's no, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, for someone like me who does a lot of energy work, who does a lot of um, crossing over readings, connecting with people on a daily basis, um, it's quite imperative that I smudge often, you know, like once a week or so. So for someone who's not doing that kind of work, but, you know... If, if you feel like something's weighing on you or, or things aren't feeling right or you're feeling negative or there's, there's a heaviness on you or um, you're having nightmares, things aren't going right, whatever it is, like just feeling iffy, if you're out of sorts, then, you know, it might be a good idea to smudge and just clear, clear away the, the denseness, the negativity and anything that might be, you know, hanging around you, you will know when you need to do it. Okay. So there's no hard and fast rules with that. Do it as and when you feel the need to. So what do you need to do a clearing, cleansing? Um, you need a smudge stick. Now it depends where, where you are from and where you live. I'm in South Africa and I use the Imperpal uh, smudge stick. So this is, it's like a kind of sage. Um, it's used a lot by um, traditional African healers here in South Africa. And that's why it's, it's quite... Um, widely available which is very helpful um, I actually saw some gorgeous white sage at the farmers market and we are near where I live um, beautiful white sage from imported from America but it was quite expensive about 370 rand or something whereas this is 20 rand it's not obviously as it, it's not the same quality as the white sage but it's very difficult to get that here obviously um, but yeah this is sufficient it does the job so here in South Africa, we've got um, a few smudges that, that are available in um, the esoteric shops. So we've obviously got them purple, 
We have the Giants in purple, which I've showed you in a previous YouTube video. Go and have a look. I unpacked a box from uh, Bear Vida Rapaho. Uh, this particular one is from Enchanted Earth. They also do the Giant Smudge Sticks. Um, 60 bucks for this huge monster. And I'm not going to be using this today because it's quite a bit to just smudge yourself with. This is for like some serious things that are going on. <laughs> if you need to smudge your mansion. One day I'll need this for my mansion. For now, I will use this little one. <laughs> but yeah, you can use this for like house cleansing and cleansings and stuff as well. This is also in purple. And then I picked this up. I'm actually going to open it here for you guys. I think I might even use it today. I think I should. This is beautiful. It is Harmony Herbal Quartet Blend. For cleansing, balance, peace, clarity, and joy smudge wand. So look how gorgeous this is, guys. And this is more um, what the smudge sticks look like, you know, that you can get in America and some other countries. Um, these are a little bit more rough hewn, but these, some of them are done with great detail and little crystals and all that kind of stuff. I got this gorgeous quartet blend from Enchanted Earth and Hillcrest. They are an esoteric shop and one of my favorite shops in the area. I get a lot of my stuff from them. Crystals, incense, uh, sage, everything. I'm just trying to figure out what's actually inside this blend because it doesn't say, but it looks like definitely rosemary. And there's like a kind of uh, conifer, you know the conifers, and some sage or purple. I'm not sure what the fourth blend, the fourth one is, but yeah, this is a beautiful quartet blend. Could be lavender. It just smells delicious. The little inscription here says, It is believed that the smudge stick and the act of smudging with focus and intent create a powerful tool which allows you to take responsibility for your own self-empowerment and manifested reality by working with elemental energies and your higher self. Um, yeah, so important. I'm going to read this because I will forget later to tell you. Keep a fireproof container handy to put the smudge stick into when you are finished, such as a shell or ceramic dish containing sand. Mine doesn't have sand, but it's fine. Do not smudge while infants, pregnant women, or those with respiratory disorders are present. It is not necessary to use the entire smudge stick at once. It can be extinguished and used again. Do not leave it burning or smoldering, please. You will burn your house down. Don't do it. Okay? So just be safe when you're using it. I mean, it's a given. There are other smudge sticks that you can get different to this. Lavender, rosemary, other blends. But you just have to keep an eye out for them. This is 95 Rand because it's a very special blend. It's a quartet. This is like 20 Rand. So it just depends on your budget as well. If you want to be extravagant, go for it. Let's do it. Okay. How do you do a cleansing. I'm going to tell you. Just be patient. Okay, it's coming. Okay. You need to set your intention. You need to put it out there what you want to purify, what you want to cleanse, why you are doing this. Just put it out into the universe, all the things that you want to let go of, all the things that you don't want to carry anymore the things you want to um, just clear and cleanse out of your system out of your mind emotionally spiritually the whole bang shoot so that is the purpose of this you are intentionally and actively getting rid of all the bad juju guys <laughs> right here comes the fun parts we get to light it oh what am i gonna do what am i gonna do i'm gonna light it with my candle And I'm sitting down for this, but you you should really be standing so that you can smudge yourself effectively because you need to smudge from the top to the toes and all around. I'm just going to smudge what you can see here for now. It's happening, it's happening. Don't put it too close to your face. Just remember smoke does damage your sillier thingamabobs things in your lungs so just be careful okay don't inhale it it's not to be inhaled keep it away from you <coughs> Ugh. it's bad hold on if you have long hair tied in a bun 
words, you're going to smell like you've been standing around a bushfire. So, okay, just warning, it does smell. It will make your area smell. I'm doing it outside today. My husband always yells at me. He's like, did you light a fire in here? Yeah, it just took all your bad juju away. So, okay, this is happening. This is quite strong, guys. So we're going to do this now. It's nice to have, so now you've set your intention. You've put out there what you're intending to let go of, what you want to cleanse and, and clear in this particular cleansing. Now, there's a nice little mantra that you can do. I'm going to say this mantra. We will say it together. Okay. You can write this down, watch this again, rewind, whatever. <laughs> you can find your own mantra that um, appeals to you and that resonates with you. You don't have to do this one. Into the smoke, I release all energies that no longer serve me. All negativity that surrounds me and all fears that limit me. And so it is. Be sure, when you say, and so it is, you are putting that out there. And so it is. You have now set your intention, you've done your mantra, you've cleansed your body, make sure you go right around, upside down, inside up, not inside up, that's dangerous, don't do it inside up, I don't know, what? <laughs> upside down, to the feet, back again, everywhere, all around your body, and you are going to smell like you have been standing around a bushfire, bonfire. especially helpful if you have flatulence. <laughs> it takes all odors away. <laughs> We're drinking tea. So thank you for joining me on this journey of choking. I hope you guys will go and do this yourselves and clear away all your bad juju and all your bad energy and negativity. It really does help guys. Oh I forgot to use my feather. I don't know if you need to waft it on you. I mean, it's quite pungent already, you know. But anyway, it's maybe for when you're doing house cleansing, you can waft it like this. That's, and maybe a bigger feather will help too. This is quite a small feather. It's not very helpful, is it? It's actually not helping at all. Demi! <laughs> anyway, to avoid further choking and possible fire hazards, like your house burning down or whatever you need to put this out guys this is how you put it out maybe not like that be safe guys probably not the best way to put it out but you know it is what it is do what you gotta do just make sure it's not on fire and that is how you smudge yourself and cleanse your aura and get rid of all the bad jujus. That's how you do it. Simple, right? So, go and buy a smudge stick today. You can find them online. Go look for your local esoteric shop. They all have them if that's where you, you want to know where to find them. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you guys want to see more cool videos, they are cool, right? Then you need to subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell. Hit the bell. I don't know, whatever the bell thing is, and make sure that you're notified when I post videos. Boom, boom, pew, pew, pew. Ah, Johnny Bravo. Ooh, ah, pretty mama. <laughs> I'll be rolling <laughs> like magic. I'm gonna have to look at that and do it again. Smudging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna choke. <laughs> Wait, I'm doing it again. <laughs> what? Oh, other ones you. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Smoke is really strong. Even my dog is joking, and he's not even near me. <laughs> Sheepish face. If you're choking, then go somewhere else. Are you stupid? Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, guys, next video. I am going to show you, I'm going to try and show you how to make your own smudge stick. 
gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, I feel like such a dork doing that. It's gonna happen! I'll see you then! Bye! Oh, is that like a prop move? Bad. I don't know. What am I doing? And that didn't make any sense, did it? Let's do it again! <laughs>